Hey, what's up you guys? It's Andrew from Posh Designs and today I have episode 9 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday where I go into either Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D or another demanding editing program and I show you guys one tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now in today's tutorial we are going to be focusing in, in Photoshop and Cinema 4D to make some customized 3D graffiti text. Now of course we are going to need three things. One, of course Photoshop. Two, Max on Cinema 4D and then three a graffiti file now a graffiti file can be made by anyone who knows how to make customized graffiti so it could be on paper it could be on um, the internet they could be making an illustrator they could really make it in anything just as long as you have some graffiti text so as you can see on my screen right here I'll open this folder and my guy sends me two things he um, sends me a uh, picture of it with uh, the letters kind of spread apart and then he also sends me it uh, with them together so as you see the spread apart one the looks like this and then the next one looks like this now they're put together and they uh, this is what we will be going off to make sure it looks like this now to um, accomplish this just have someone make you graffiti text and then we can get started so I am going to be just using the um, together image we can also use the spread apart which I am going to be using um, actually the spread apart image just so you guys can see how it works um, just to make sure that you guys uh, know you know obviously what to do so let's bring the spread apart image into Photoshop and I'm just gonna drop it right here alright now if I just press enter so we want to kind of blow up this H so I'm gonna use my magnifying tool to kind of zoom in on it as much as possible probably zoom out a little bit alright so um, we're just gonna see background and then uh, the image file and then I'm going to come down here right by the trash can and make a new layer now once I make this new layer we are basically going to trace around the H now to do this all we have to do is use our pen tool and really all we need to do is um, just focus on outlining them all so to do this um, we can just select over here onto our paths and uh, just start really wherever you want um, on your guys's uh, composition so I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna work my way up by going like that and just work around the graffiti now depending on how much time you guys do take is uh, what um, really is going to determine how your graffiti turns out because um, you know taking your time using the pen tool and uh, just kind of uh, making sure that you guys do keep it nice clean and uh, professional it really will uh, determine how your text does end up in Cinema 4D so uh, if you do like um, just really sloppy fast paced text I guess I uh, just rush through this process but I would definitely recommend taking my time now obviously you guys don't want to watch me for a whole 20 minutes I'm just uh, circling this out so as what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed this up a little bit throw on some music um, it's 1055 uh, at night right now so we'll just see how long it takes me at uh, the end of it so guys let's uh, turn on some music Alright guys, so now that I have this all traced out, if we look over here when we uh, select it on that paths tab, we see that um, we kind of see like a kind of outline of what our text does look like right here on our composition. Now as you guys see right here, I do have um, this type of um, cutout in my uh, O, so what we want to do is we are going to want to trace around that um, first before we do anything. and. Uh, why we want to do this is because it's going to fill over this and then it's not going to get the direct path that we wanted it um, to be so if you guys do have a cutout because the guy or whatever you guys did to your guys graffiti um, if you guys do have like a little cutout in the middle of it um, you guys are going to want to trace over it before you guys fill this now I will teach you guys how to fill it right after I get done with this just give me one moment now as you guys see that only took me about seven minutes I didn't really take um, you know the greatest time on it because I didn't want this to be such a long tutorial it might be a long tutorial so sorry guys um, but yeah so let's get right into it um, so when we want to fill it now while we are on our layers we just want to um, actually select uh, on our work path 
and we want to go say file export paths to illustrator and it's gonna say paths work path you just just want to make sure that that says work path and say OK now it's going to say file name and we just want to say our graffiti path AI and just save it to wherever we want and then we saved it to the desktop I'm just gonna drag it into the how to make uh, 3d graffiti and then after we have that done we actually can just take that AI file that we have um, that we've saved to the desktop and we can actually just throw it right in to Cinema 4D. Now this is going to pop up. It's going to say Adobe Illustrator import and the scale is just going to say some random number. I would um, just select one. You don't need it to very big. Um, so I would just say one. So I'm just going to click OK. And now we have um, the AI file of our graffiti in here which is um, pretty cool uh, and uh, that's basically how you would um, get it into photo um, sorry not Photoshop into cinema 4d itself but to actually um, get uh, all these letters to be 3d we just need to um, basically just extrude nerve them so to do that we want to come up here into our tool panel and it's gonna kinda look like a, uh, a square with um, uh, kind of like a extension around it and we're going to hold down and go to extrude nerves now you want to open up this little guy right here right next to uh, whatever you've named it if you guys named it just the same as I did uh, it says graffiti path AI and it's gonna have a little plus sign right here just drop that down and we have three separate paths so I want to um, duplicate this extrude nerves three times so I'm gonna say control C control V two times and now I have extrude nerves one two and then just extrude nerves and then I'm just going to drag those in to each extrude nerves and as we see they start to turn 3D. So now I can just delete that thing that says Graffiti AI, and now we have 3D text. Now to get it like I do, um, I usually just select all these, go down here, and then it says movement, and it'll say 20 centimeters. I make this about 50 all the time. That just adds a little bit more depth to it. Then I go to caps, and then I say start cap to fillet cap, and end cap to fillet cap. Now the reason I do this is because when we do um, add light to it, it's going to add some really nice uh, light uh, to the sides of those. So I will select them all again and just play with the steps and radius just a little bit. Um, I'm going to set my steps to about 10 and the radius I'm going to set to about 8. And you want to do that on both the start and end, so 10 and 8 on the back of here as well. All right, so now we see that these are kind of fat, barely eligible to read. So what we can do is actually just select all these. Control C, Control V. So now we're going to have extrude nerves 3, 4, and 5. And actually what we want to do is just select the fillet cap to just cap. And what that does is if we drag these out, we see that it kind of adds um, kind of like a back layer to just a regular um, the like the regular files that we had before now what we want to do is we also want to make sure that these have some reflection to as well so we want to go up to here to extrude nerves 3 to 5 and we actually just want to make sure that we uh, set it so that we can have a little bit of curve so we want to flake cap these again except we want to bring this um, the radius down to about 2 and what this will do Oops, sorry, let's put in 200 and just select 2 and make sure that you uh, put it both on the start and end. And now we see that it has um, still kind of a little curved edge onto uh, the front text. Now, what we want to do is just uh, curve them around a little bit and uh, make a nice placement for them. So, to do that, we're going to come up here to these four buttons up here and it should look like a couple four arrows, uh, two arrows going up and down kind of a rotating circle and then uh, you should see like a window now you want to click that window and it's going to pop up with four windows here now to do this we want to select extrude nerves uh, just the regular one and then th extrude nerves three because that is the same letter as you see I have both of them selected and we just want to move this out a little bit come to our rotation tool and just rotate it just a tad bit I usually try to aim for about 15 to 20 degrees so down here in the rotation tab we just want to select 20 degrees and that'll turn it 20 degrees. Now we just want to do the same step for extrude nerves 1 and 4. That's the same layer. We're just going to rotate those in. And I'm going to make it 
go about a negative 20 degrees is what that'll do is that'll move it just like so I actually might do negative 15 just so it's not such a drastic turn uh, for it and we want to just move this over in this window the top view and take this and just kind of adjust it so it looks um, halfway decent so um, actually we uh, it, this is just really a kind of play around um, time with the text you just have to make sure that uh, you just select whatever you think looks the best so um, that looks about good and I'm gonna take the two and five and then I'm going to move that uh, give it the rotation about 10 degrees uh, not even maybe five degrees I would say and just move that on over let's find our move tool And just move that behind the O. Have it kind of squeeze up against it. And right about there, that looks good. So we can just come back to this view. Um, if you guys did not see what I did, uh, when I'm in this uh, four view um, look, we can actually just come to uh, this top left one and then hit uh, the window again and it'll go right back to there. Now to make sure that we can look dead on straight onto it to uh, look see what it actually does look like, we want to come up here to this kind of light um, with the four arrows, and then you want to go down to camera, and then come over here where it says edit cameras display, go to cameras, go to scene camera, and camera. All right, so now that we have that done, we want to come down here to the rotation and just make sure that all zeros. Now you guys won't see anything, just scroll out a little bit and now we can see our text straight on alright so that actually looks pretty good that's how I want my text to look so what we want to do now is we are going to add um, some colors now some really nice colors do come in Cinema 4D itself so what I do is I just go to file load material preset go to broadcast go to resources go to materials glossy and go all the way up and you guys will see car paint and then um, whatever color it is now I am um, just am going to let's say use red now it's going to pop up with this and then I'm going to control C control V and select one of those red colors and then I'm just going to change it to whatever color I want so I'm going to select a uh, kind of yellowish color and go into the diffusion I would just take off the noise if I were you don't really need any diffusion in there. Um, the reflection I'm just going to set as a kind of yellowish color. Uh, the specular you really don't need that so I'm going to take that off and we're going to select the red color to go on the back. So now to do this we just want to take the red color and put it on the extrude nerves and then we can just hold down control and actually just drag these up onto the uh, extrude nerves to two and now we want to take the yellow color go to extrude nerves three and just hold down control and take those up so now we have some text right here if we just quick render those out um, we have this text right here now what I do is I do have a really nice Lightroom and it takes forever to load so let me open it up real quick. It is by uh, Grayscale Gorilla. If you guys do want to take a uh, look at it I will throw his link in the description below so you guys can check him out. Unfortunately I can't just give you guys this Lightroom um, because it's his, it's not mine. Uh, I can't just give it out to you guys. But uh, So we have a Lightroom set up right here. And actually what we need to do is we actually need to exit out of this real quick. And what you guys want to do is if you guys are taken into like let's say an uh, external Lightroom like I'm doing, you guys want to highlight all the extreme nerves, control C, and then open up your Lightroom like I did, and then control V. And now our text is all in here. And we just want to set it right about there. Now with this Lightroom, um, we don't want to see obviously the studio and stuff. So to get rid of those, we just want to come down here and uh, go to the Studio C, say Visible and Render, say Off, and then the room, we want to say Visible and Render Off. All right, so let's just zoom in on this real quick. 
zoom in on it just a tad bit more make sure we set the camera to wherever we want so set the camera right there now after that uh, it's pretty simple um, we just uh, come up here to our render settings say save we want to save it as a PNG this is a really important part as well select alpha channel save it to our desktop and we're going to call this 3d graffiti all right say save and then I also throw on some ambient occlusion just to make it look nice so after we have that done we just want to hit render and it's going to render out real quick so I'll just uh, speed this up to a little bit Alright guys, so now it's all done for you. Um, if we just want to minimize all this, uh, our file is right here. If we just double click on it, it's right there. We can open up Photoshop and just drag this into Photoshop real quick. Drop it on in there. Open up our layers. Just delete that background layer. And uh, now we have this. So here's our 3D text and that is how you guys would make your own 3D graffiti text. So guys, if you guys did like this tutorial, please give it a big thumbs up. This was a very largely um, requested tutorial, so I thought I would do this on this GFX Tip Friday. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys did learn something new. If you guys have any questions, concerns, complaints, definitely leave them down in the comment sections below, and I will get to you guys as soon as possible. If you guys do have any um, future request for the GFX Tip Fridays um, coming up, please leave them also in the comment sections below or you guys can personal message me. Well guys, until next time, my name's Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free and I make your visions a reality. My thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh. All that shit, just let me go Owers and tastemakers, makers, no chaser Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker Cut the middle man